Hello everyone and welcome back to the 55 Fitness channel. Today we have fitness instructor Vanessa here and she's gonna show us a strength exercise that we can do to strengthen our core. 55 Fitness specializes in group fitness classes and personal training for women ages 55 plus. At 55 Fitness, no one ever feels intimidated, overwhelmed, out of shape or out of place. I'm Emily, come and join us. Hey, thanks Emily. Um, so today we're going to talk about the plank, which is a very basic exercise. Most people have, if you haven't done it, you've at least heard of it. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about what to look for, how to get into a good position, and then how to make it a, either a little bit easier or a little bit more challenging. So Emily, I'm just going to get you to come down into that plank position. We're going to start by talking about a couple mistakes that are pretty common. So we're gonna start out in this plank position. You'll notice that Emily's head is making a nice long line all the way down to her heels, okay? First mistake that people will make is they'll let their abs go. And as soon as that happens, your whole body's just gonna kind of sink down. You're gonna get that curve through the low back. You might even feel a bit of pressure there. So let's just go ahead, squeeze those abs and get the hips back up. Second thing that people will do is they'll let go of their glutes. And when that happens, those hips come up and then you get this sort of bend at the hip, whereas we want a nice long line. So we're gonna squeeze the glutes, bring ourselves back into a line there. With the head, most common thing is the head will fall to the ground if you lose that connection through the upper back and neck. So let's go ahead, pull that head back up in line. So we're looking for the neck to continue the line of the rest of the spine. In terms of shoulders, a couple things can happen. They might drop down, okay, so that you get this kind of pinching between the shoulder blades, or they might push too far up. We push up, yeah, so that you get this sort of rounded back like this. And again, you'll notice that kind of brings the head down. So let's go ahead and find that sort of middle position through the shoulders. Last thing we're gonna talk about is the heels. So the heels should be stacked right over the ball of the foot. You rock back there, Emily. Um, You'll see this kind of like heel pushing back. Um, that's just gonna kind of take away a little bit of the strength that we're trying to build. It's not really gonna harm anything. If you have really tight calves, this might actually feel really nice to push the heels back. But we wanna focus on that kind of abdominal strength. So we wanna bring those heels right up over the ball of the foot. Okay, and that's your plank position. I'll let Emily come down now, take a little rest. Okay, so from here, we're gonna talk about a couple ways that we can adapt to the plank. So for people with bad wrists, maybe you have some carpal tunnel, maybe you just have some stiffness or it's just a little sore, staying in this position for a long time, that might be a little too much for you. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come down onto your forearms, okay? And when you're in this position, Try not to bring your hands together. That just pulls your shoulders into a bit of a forward roll. We want to keep those shoulders open so our forearms are going to be parallel. Okay, another thing you can do, if it's just a question of building up strength, maybe you just find you're always thinking, as much as you try, you can't pull yourself up. Then you're just going to lower your knees and we're coming into this position, still looking for all those same points, okay? So we're looking for the hips are not up, they're in line, waist doesn't sink, it's there, shoulders are in that nice middle position, and the head is in line. So that's another adaptation we can do. Now, if you're able to hold that full plank position and you wanna make it a little bit easier, but not quite coming down onto your knees, we're just gonna take a little bit of elevation. So we're gonna use a step here. You can also use the seat of a chair, you can use a bar, a countertop, a wall, anything that kind of brings your hands up a little higher. And we're just gonna come back into that plank position and it's gonna take a little bit of that pressure off of your abs, just holding you up a little bit higher. Now let's say you wanna do the reverse, so you want a bit more of a challenge, You've been doing plank a long time. We're just gonna take our feet up. We're gonna elevate our feet instead. That's gonna put a little bit more pressure on your abs, it's gonna make you engage that core a little bit more and just hold yourself up through the center. 
Awesome. Well, those are some great variations to the plank. And if you like what you saw today in this video, I'd love you to subscribe. I know we're gonna be showing more videos uh, talking about core and how to strengthen your core. So subscribe to the channel, and we hope to see you again soon here at 55 Fitness. Thank you so much. Bye.